force behind all technology technology that drives india towards rapid progress is the modern day engineer with thousands of engineers being bred every year thanks to the scores of technical institutes and the acclaimed indian aptitude india has become a technological superpower my 33 years of experience in this particular field i can uh, very confidently i can share what i know is that uh, today's scenario is totally different from the way the day i started today every industries they they do not have any breathing time they got to work in front they got a task to be finished in a specific time and they need definitely the people who can really execute those and this can be achieved only if you have a trained workforce or experienced workforce experienced workforce is not going to uh, be available all the time and you would ensure that you induct the new workforce which has got somewhat exposure to your line of business suvidya institute of technology an institute driven by passion the passion to create nurture and develop dynamic engineers engineers that will empower india At Suvidya, engineers are empowered with the following courses: Piping Engineering, Advanced Pipe Stress Analysis, Process Engineering, Mechanical Design of Process Equipments, HVAC, Structural Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Instrumentation and Control, Piping Design and Drafting. and engineering design and drafting in order to customize the learning process of the students according to the multiple courses offered students are put through an aptitude or pre enrollment test this sensitizes the students to the real time environment and demands of the industry thereby aiding the faculty to customize the learning experience of the students as per their caliber This unique process followed at Suvidya enhances the overall development of the students and bridges the gap between teaching and absorption. After deciding to take piping engineering as the course I was given a assignment which was basically a mechanical engineering assignment. Now when you associate a chemical engineer with the piping engineering field it's bit difficult for the chemical engineers to cope up with the mechanical aspects. as the assignment was thoroughly mechanical based i found it difficult the same day but on the day of submission when i submitted the assignment and uh, contacted mystery sir i told him that sir i am finding it difficult especially the drawing part which was my weak link but now i can say with the constant help of mystery sir and other faculties who were uh, and other faculties i have uh, coped up with the drawing to some extent in which uh, now i have become somewhat confident the well trained faculty along with ISO certified administration processes add up to a world class engineering institute 
where the focus is on practical development and technological empowerment of the students. Drawing an image on paper and actually converting uh, in, on computer, it's very exciting for an engineer. And uh, being an engineer and uh, being a part of a Sugi Dhanis computer lab, uh, my dreams have come true. There are two types of education. The, one, the first one is learning and the second one is understanding. There are a lot of professional institutes where they are taught to learn, but here they are made to understand. Uh, working on a live project always helps people uh, to know how the industry functions basically and to react with people who are very well experienced in this field. So in that case that knowledge sharing happens, you get to learn a lot from these people and once you are employed somewhere, so these people don't, don't have to spend a lot of money training you because you have already got that knowledge, you have already worked on the project and this is what Suvidya empowers you to do. The last stage beckons the students to appear for a rigorous and tough final exam, which is literally a test on the razor's edge. After all, one does not just become a Suvidya qualified engineer without proving his or her medal. Basically what we need is the pool of senior experienced engineers for our project execution. So at this stage, SIT is the institution who can help us to get junior engineers who have such fundamental knowledge and skill to proceed with detailed engineering activities. I have gained a lot in terms of job profile and job responsibility at workplace. Uh, speaking about job profile, I joined as a trainee engineer. But then, uh, compared to other trainees, I was given jobs of uh, tasks of more responsibility and more knowledge. Our dream is to make India technologically self reliant. Suvidya Institute of Technology, an institute inspired by the dreams of a billion people. A dream to make India a technological and economical superpower. The effort has borne fruit. Results are showing. The world is taking notice and India has grabbed center stage. Today, India is a flourishing economy. In fact, it is the synergy of all eyes. Everybody wants to join us in our momentum towards the pinnacle. This puts us Indians in a position of responsibility. The responsibility to fulfill all our dreams.